Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. Since most of my Oddish, Oddish, most of my audience is Swedish, I thought I would do a video on the uh, gun debate, uh, how maybe living in Europe has changed my opinions on guns, and then overall just kind of like what I think Americans have to kind of decide and the fundamental problems with the debates. Now, the first thing is, what I hate right now is, and when I say hate, I don't mean it in a bad way, I just don't like right now that a lot of times in society that we live in now is if you want to have an argument either way about anything, it suddenly becomes like which team you're on, which side you're on. And I think the gun debate for a while has been that kind of a way where there's just two sides that feel strongly they can't have a conversation. Uh, but it seems to be that there's definitely a change happening in, in the United States. There's, there's a movement with, with young people that are talking about uh, what's happening. Now... Well, I, I'll just quickly, because if you watch my other video on this, I grew up in Pennsylvania. I grew up around firearms hunting, and I've used firearms, and I can see the point of them being used as a tool. No doubt there. But in my life, personally, in the United States, guns has been involved in terrible things with four different people that I've known. Uh, and I think what's changed my perspective of being in Europe is just like how that's not normal. Uh, and maybe it's not normal in general. Like if you're an American, it's maybe pretty crazy that four people that you know were affected directly. But that's still that's still an awful lot. And it had me thinking about things differently. And the way my perspective has changed is just living in Europe that doesn't happen. Now, is there gun violence in Europe? Yes. Does it happen? Yes. But it happens at a lesser lesser scale. That's the other thing I wanted to say is like when you try to have this debate, logical debate, first people try to put you on teams. That's the first thing. The second thing is just constantly hit with statistics. Uh, you can look at a statistical graph and argue the fact, and I'm not trying to take that away, uh, the fact of this, that people having firearms in the United States, maybe the more firearms are, the less likely people want to break into your home, the less likely things can happen. And of course, guns have been used to save people, and it's believed to be right like in American history. Like I get that. But then you can look at other statistical de data that comes out of these uh, mass shootings and things like this as well. Uh, then there's the whole debate on if you ban assault weapons, I mean, there's probably 200 different guns you'd have to ban. If you want to take away automatic rifles, there's automatic hand handguns. And this is what I think is the problem right now, is I think that Americans have to decide what is more important and this is why I think it's more of a philosophical philosophical I can't say the word uh, it's more of a philosophy like a point in philosophy is if Americans are always gonna have the right to have guns if we're gonna have that we're always gonna have mass shootings now if we can have some common sense gun laws and decide to take away AR-15 and 200 of these automatic rifles that are used for fun by a lot of people, but could also save lives, you're gonna have people then maybe that switches to pistols. And then you're gonna have to say, wait, handguns are used. Because statistically, like for example, handguns are used more, I think, than a, uh, automatic rifles when it comes to just overall gun murder and violence and people death by guns, it's handguns. So suddenly when you ban the one thing, you have to look at everything else. And so if we're always going to have guns in the United States, then we're always going to have probably mass shootings and we're going to have uh, problems with gun violence. And I'm not saying to ban all guns. Uh, I'm just telling you how my perspective has changed. Is, is that being in Europe and seeing that, yeah, it exists, gun violence happens here, but it's really rare. Uh, it's hard to find someone where I live in, in, in Sweden that's been affected uh, by gun violence. But... It's much more common in the United States. So it's a, it's a different mindset. We in America feel that we have the right to bear arms. It's in our constitution. It's our right. There's plenty of people that grow up that have a, that, with a firearm. That mentality is always going to mean the potential for problems. Every police officer that's going to engage in a with a car and a stop is always going to have to treat that person as if they are armed. Uh these things are going to happen. And so we're going to have to try to figure it out. So if, I guess the way it's changed my perspective perspective being here in Europe is at the very least, it's had me think 
there's a definite problem with gun violence in the United States and that this is not normal. Maybe we should try something. Sometimes trying something is better than do doing nothing, you know. Uh, maybe it's worth looking at, but we have to have an overall view on what we want. Uh, because I don't think it's right maybe to continue to keep going the way we're going, but we'll have to see. So that's kind of my thoughts on this. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. It's kind of a weird reality. It's interesting, though. It's exciting to see change happening in the States. No matter what side they they go to, it's nice to see young people getting involved politically. So that's what I had today, just a discussion on this. My thoughts. I hope you liked it, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.